Clear coming, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Second evening. Sir, I'm good. Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Ritpal Gupta. So, I am 22 years old. I was born in Jammu district of Jammu and Kashmir, from where I have done my high schooling. Later on, I did my bachelor's in economics honors from Sri Ram College of Commerce. And sir, this is going to be my first attempt at JK Combined Competitive Examination. Also, sir, my interest includes teaching underprivileged and analyzing Indian foreign policy. Yes, sir. So PSIR. Why sir, uh, there are a number of reasons why I chose PSIR because sir, in my first year of my college, so my generic elective was political science. So I found the subject to be very interesting. So later on I realized that it's a strategic move to shift to PSIR because of overlap with the GS paper. Additionally sir, I have lots of uh, value addition from economics so I thought let's move on to a new discipline so as to enhance the preparation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, as you rightly said, I could have pursued masters because I was getting scholarship for various universities. But, sir, I realized that masters I could do because it's an age-neutral thing, so I could do later in life as well. Sir, uh, I have certain privileged background, so I always wanted to pay back to the society. As it seems to be cliche also, but it's something, it gives me work satisfaction. And so at personal level, I believe that this services, KS, would offer me a personal growth to learn at diverse fields. And sir, uh, to be honest, I feel that I come from a background where uh, usually children are put into family occupation and to avoid the risk. So I just want to create an identity for myself. So that is why I chose KS and uh, masters anyway I can do later on in the life as well. Sir, so I came from a privileged background. Pardon, sir? Sir, so, so like uh, I come from a business family, so yeah, so uh, usually children are put into the uh, family occupation, so they avoid that you should not go into government occupation because you have a family business. So I always wanted to create identity for myself. Yes, sir. So, there is an immense role of advertisement in the government policies because until and unless we don't spread awareness via it, people won't go for it. So, sir, in developing country like India, there is lack of awareness. We see there is dearth of policy. They end up becoming bizarre pieces of legislation because there is lack of awareness. So, with advertisement. Uh, yes, sir, I would like to take a moment to think over it. Yes, sir. So there are certain schemes, for example, uh, Samagri Shiksha Abhiyan and various other Beti Bachao Beti Padhao schemes in Haryana. So there were some case studies done by various sociologists. They reported that majority of the villagers do know that there are schemes for the women. They can seek uh, uh, loans at low interest subsidies. So I think if we are promoting advertisement via digital mode, or via physical copies, via holding, so it would create a immense uh, opportunity for schemes to be implemented. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, as times change, so uh, in the previous decade, so we were not having the advantage of digital uh, mobile phones. So then we used to rely on holdings. So holdings plus campaigning via students or via the government officers. Uh, it's a village village camps. So now we have seen that there is internet penetration in Indian economy. So now digital era, we see that government is catering to the lots of masses via uh, ads on YouTube via click per pay model. So I think the need of the R is to promote digitalization of advertisement. So Uh, sir, uh, I don't know much about it, but we usually cater to government tender. Uh, so, so there are various schemes. Uh, as specific, I don't know about that. Uh, so, like Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao, Jal Jeevan. Sir, as an advertising business. So, sir, we promote quality holdings. 
we try to write in english as well as hindi but sir in jammu and kashmir as a state we also write in urdu and dogri so that it caters to lots of masses in linguistic manner as well coding ho gaya hai yes sir coding yes sir radium boards and uh, we are also promoting digitalization but since there is lots of hurdle in uh, legislation so we need to, we need some time to shift to that thing yes sir sir uh, i think i am a hard working student as you can see from my track record uh, sir i am also having a very good emotional question and i can adapt to various environments so sir before this ks means my dadi was diagnosed with the uh, cancer so i had to accompany her to the oncologist center so sir uh, there was two options either to go with her accompany her or to sit back and study so sir i figured out that i cannot send my mother alone to that center so i decided that i can make short notes and take them along with me so i am adaptable to that thing i realized that thing that i am very adaptable to various environments and sir third day i feel i have leadership qualities as well so sir today it's uh, so one second i'm late four four of us yes sir yes sir Uh, sorry sir i cannot recall that so can i take a guess so sir i think we were shifting uh, towards uh, i think 2019 reorganization act in that yes sir sir uh, as abrogation of article 370 it was a temporary provision as we all know in the constitution and it was inevitable for us to you know remove that from the constitution so sir changes we see immense changes before that the economic output of the state was 1 lakh crore so post that we saw immense growth that is more than 2 lakh crore sorry sir so that specific date uh, can i take a guess if i'm not sure sir i think president rule was so psi yes sir sir i think constitution uh, president constitutional order 272 and 273 was passed on that day and uh, president rule was imposed And, sir actually there is a different provision in jammu and kashmir we need governor rule prior to that and then we can shift to the president rule sir uh, i did so 2014 2014 sir as one of the alliance of withdrew uh, the bjp alliance withdrew from the pdp so uh, sir i couldn't keep the track of specific year Sir, if I consider it to be a president rule, then uh, <coughs> sir, sorry, sir, I don't know about exactly. Yes, sir. Post Article three seventy abrogation. Yes, sir. so we have seen that lots of investment in coming in the state that that to some muslim countries that is imar group is investing 500 crore in the srinagar mall and so we additionally see that there is change in narrative also so sir investment is ready package industrial package is ready and now the government is also focused focusing on to build the trust in the community yeah ye jo kal se package aaya hai jo mujhe aaya hai wo mujhe 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 m
could create kind of yes sir industrial policy has been announced by the government of india and wherein they are exempting vat uh, they are providing interest subsidy and sir they are also promoting sitco to become a uh, they, they are promoting sitco as a library of notes so that more and more industries could be set up yes sir sir in political terms also we have seen a lot of stability in security terms do we can see some skirmishes right now yes so the whole strategy of deployment of the military personnel change post article 370 abrogation so uh, the more and more so political yes sir. yes sir so yes sir uh, yes sir so political stability i meant in terms of uh, to curb the terrorism because there was lots of terrorism and people were not going for the voter turnout was very poor prior to that so people realized that uh, so the whole of the state पाटिल सर Sir, additionally, I feel uh, tourism also increased in Jammu division uh, because earlier it's a city of temples, so people were very skeptical of visiting here because of the terrorism thing. So, government of India could win the trust of the people, and people could come here. And yes, sir, earlier it was less than uh, like 10 million, but now it is more than 18 million, and for the 2023 year, it is I think two crore people visited. Yes, Sir, it's for the whole UT. I couldn't keep the track of specific Jammu division. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Sir, I could clear JE, but uh, then I realized my passion aligns with the civil services. So I thought of going to the BA program that is economics honors. So, Sir, I couldn't decipher at that time, so I could score very good marks in my 10th standard, so uh, that's why I pursued like non-medical in that. Okay. Yes, sir. So we have certain models like Haradome model. It started with the first five-year plan itself. So wherein government of India realized that we need to promote more and more saving, it could lead to more and more investment. And sir, this could create a buffer in the today's time where we are seeing the economic crisis worldwide. So India don't need to uh, bother about that because we are having our own financing model at a domestic level. So there is also solo model working in the economy. As we can see in the recent budget, the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister, they have specifically focused on technology growth, R&D, research and development. Because sir, at some point of time, we see that there is a plateau come and we need to promote R&D model, especially in the agriculture department. Is percent GDP from R&D Pardon sir? Sir, it is uh, earlier it was 0.2 percent, but now we are increasing to 0.3.4. So, the exact figure, uh, but the exact figure I couldn't. Uh, sorry, sir, I, I'll brush upon this more. Yes, sir. So, I would like to take a moment to think upon this. Yes, sir. So we are seeing a rise in our savings because to curb the inflation in the economy, government is increasing the interest rate as a, it's a monetary policy tool. Sorry, sir. RBI is increasing the interest rate. So it's very beneficial for the uh, depositors to deposit. So we have seen a rise in the saving rate. Additionally, sir, I would like to mention that. So there was also rise in uh, investment in mutual funds. So in the recent budget, the government of India and the finance department decided that we should promote uh, more and more uh, investment in the deposits, we should make uh, 
the stock investment less attractive. So they have introduced indexation also in the budget. Uh, sir, it could be because of the uh, bank run and other cases in the Indian economy, but now government could achieve the trust of the people by bringing banks through reforms. So now we have seen that in the recent time, the investment is increasing, the savings are increasing. But and yes, it is. Yes, sir. Sir, we have seen that uh, IPC code has been introduced. We have seen that SARF AC Act has been strengthened to curb the willful defaulters. So we have also seen preventive corrective action has been introduced by RBI so that banks could release the uh, correct NPS. Sir, I could recall this much. Willful yes, sir. So willful defaulters are those who have the capacity to pay, but they don't pay. So they they find the loopholes in the laws like SARF AC Act to evade themselves and to protect themselves under the loopholes. So they call us, both sides of the yes, sir. So as rightly said by you, the farmers in the Indian economy, basically sir, they don't have access to the formal credit. So sir, they have access to the informal credit. So sir, what? Yes, Yes, sir. So, but uh, they don't have awareness about that. So, they formally come under the clutches of the uh, local tenants and the landlords. Uh, yes, sir. I agree with you. In my humble opinion, sir, I feel that uh, basically they don't have awareness about that. But government of India is focusing more of local banks, rural regional banks. And, sir, they have space in the budget also for the farmers. And they can get access to the, uh, the loans at the cheap subsidy. And, sir, additionally, the budget also mentioned that that farmers can get loans and even if they are having NPS in the uh, in their you know uh, credit history so they can still get the loan and government would pay that on their behalf no labor pardon sir i couldn't no get it sir it depends it depends upon the situation if loan waivers are given in the sunrise sector then it's absolutely fine because we see that in renewable sectors there is lots of investment so productivity might decrease in the uh, coming years but in the later, in the future, we see the profit is there. But sir, in the those sectors like coal sectors, so if government is still giving loan waivers, so sir, these are sunset industries. So we need to think upon that. After the loan discipline, yes, sir. It's uh, yeah, there is lack of discipline. If we government keeps on giving loan waiver, it could set a wrong precedent. Uh, sir, as I mentioned, that it is by case by case basis. So uh, government is having SARF AC Act wherein we have to approach to the tribunals also. So sir, there we can see that we can check the credit history. If the person is having a positive credit record, so we have seen credit points are evaluated on every daily, uh, like monthly basis by the banks. So if we see that in the past year, the person is a good credit risk, so we can afford to, uh, you know, we can uh, we can tolerate the loan with it. But if we see that the person is doing recurring, uh, if the person is labeled as a bad credit risk, so we cannot afford that. Is it over taxing or middle class? Uh, sir, we are a welfare state as mentioned by our constitution. So uh, it's a progressive tax, first of all. Sir, regarding the over taxation, sir, we have new uh, new tax lab wherein we government of India is giving tax exemption till 3 lakh. But sir, still also we have to invest on various welfareism schemes. So we need to increase the... Sir, I think it's direct and indirect both. So, pardon, sir. Sir, uh, I think that uh, so one of the tax lab is there. So simplification has been uh, made in this recent budget, and sir, GST has made a tremendous change in the Indian economy by unified all the state level VAT. So I think on the FMCG goods, so there is lots of decline in the prices as well, but still there are certain goods wherein we are so facing. Sir, direct, direct tax is progressive. Uh, 
sir, I didn't neglect the data. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, uh, so I feel that in the indirect act, that is regressive in nature. Pardon, sir, for that. Sir, I'm uh, sorry for that. But sir, official papers do mention that GST has been simplified, so we have like unified structure, and it is promoting some sort of relief to the poor in the economy as well. Yes, sir. Yes, Sir, the basic philosophy behind bringing the GST was to unify the tax structure. That's sir, fine. To some extent, yes, sir, we have done that at the state level. So, additionally, government is trying to win the trust of the business investor because we have provision like input tax credit. So, we are compensating these producers that when they are, you know, they are uh, giving tax for the input. So, government is compensating that them. So, I feel that it's a long journey and we need to evaluate it. And our government is open to federalism. We have GST council. We have various discussions are going on. So, the time will decide regarding that. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, in economics, we are taught that averages are preferred over extreme. So, any day I would go with mixed. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Professor Honorable Amartya Sen says that mixed economy is the one where capacity building approach has been focused. Yes, sir. To the extent if we are promoting capacity building and not just promoting freebies in the economy. Sir, uh, the world is very complex. The history of US is different from history of India. So, the US model naturally evolved to a mercantilism, to a liberal capitalism. So, but India, we have seen that we were hijacked by the colonialism. Sir, it's an important model, but it's a vision of our constitution makers that we have made it a welfare state post independence. Sir, uh, the history of SRTC goes back to a time when in 1927 there was an industrialist, Lala Shriram. So he set up the college in his own name. So, sir, we cannot change the name of the historical inst uh, institution. So that is why, in a view of respect, the government has not touched the name of the institution. Yes, sir. Sir, it is, if it is going against business ethics, so it is wrong because we cannot sustain the business for the long term on the unethical terms because at the end of the day, consumers would get to know what kind of advertisement this company is doing. And sir, we have various organizations like Advertisement Standard Council of India, Consumer Protection Act. They are efficiently working and tackling such issues and uh, uh, we are hopeful that the more and more investments and more and more investment in those advertisement companies would be promoted which are promoting ethical advertisement. Uh, 
Sir, uh, as higher judiciary has already mentioned that right to identity is a fundamental right. So if an artificial intelligence company is stealing those, so definitely that company needs to be sued at the court level. So it is against the uh, fundamental right. So yes, sir. So sir, they are using AI. So we'll also use AI to counter that. So we'll use fact check units. We can also have grievance redressal mechanism. So we can have local level. Uh, Rebrand the decision mechanism committee so that it's accessible to the people at regional level to complain about that. Just Kal Gupta was the last Gupta ruler. Sir, uh, sir, it varies with the perspective of different people, but I feel like Samudra Gupta was the most powerful. Sir, as he is called the Napoleon of India, but uh, official papers of government of India recently have said that we should call Napoleon the Samudra Gupta of India because Samudra Gupta was way before Napoleon era. Yes, sir. Sir, as we all can see the world map and the specific of South Asia. So the size and the geography of India is very vast because we are South Asia neighbors. And sir, the ME and the official South Bloc is also mindful of the fact that they are suffering from insecurity and security dilemma from New Delhi. So, sir, we are time again trying to win their trust. And also, sir, they suffer from Big Brother type of uh, Big Brother syndrome. They feel that India is a diktat in the region. So, that is why they form certain alliances, sir, starting with SARC. Sorry, I'm so sorry for that. Starting with, uh, sorry, it's SARC only. So, starting with SARC, it was started on a negative alliance. So, Bangladesh leader uh, gathered the regional countries so that they can counterbalance India. But, sir, we can see that now India is also part of it. So we can see that India is trying to win the trust of the neighbors. We are giving them uh, various kind of goods and we are not expecting something in return. So, India uh, No sir. So we are following neighborhood first policy and we are just a helping hand. So we are having shoulders with the West. We are also joining hands with the Global South. So they see us as the leader of Global South. So we can see that recently the, uh, the leader of Papua New Guinea. So they touched the feet of our Honorable Prime Minister. So it was not a personal gesture, it was a thanks to India because of the vaccine medley. So we have seen that Maldives, it started with India out campaign, but recently, so they are thanking India. So we have seen Sri Lanka, so they are having certain grudges with us, but sir, we are above the grudges. We are providing them the financial aid. So sir, India is not trying to control the South Asia, they need to understand. Plus sir, India also understand their concern. It's international relation, we are in the such an uh, area where there is so much security dilemma. So sir, it's a long way and we, I am hopeful that we will win the trust of such neighbors. Sir, India is too big to be controlled and too big to be made a best friend. So, because our policy is strategic autonomy multi-alignment, friends with all. We are not picking sides. India is very mindful of the fact that South Black is very sharp in its foreign policy. They understand that today's era, if we make best, best friends in today's era, so because we are not, uh, 2024 20, is not 1970. So we understand if we make best friends, it's going to be against backfire to us because then we have to pick sides. So sir, we have friends in uh, Europe also, for example, Ukraine, Russia, we are not picking sides because when friends are at dispute, we teach them. We resolve the dispute. Even if we take a case of Israel, Palestine, they both are our friends. Because we have lots of Muslim population, we cannot hurt the sentiment. We have diaspora as well in that region. So, sir, we are friends with all. But I think when the time demands, South Block would consider making best friends as well.
board of the duration in the solution. It's in case there's a problem of needing to get what is that? Sir, uh, I would like to take a guess on this. Sir, uh, I think with respect to delinking pair, I think you mean that uh, with respect to Israel Palestine issue. So, in South Asia. In South Asia. Yeah, Alright. Yes, sir. That, that's why I'm asking that in case there's any problem, we need to get Yes, sir. Sir, I think uh, with respect to China. So, sir, we say that trade and the border they cannot be separated. As China is doing skirmishes at Himalayas. And they're also saying that India should do trade ties and FTAs with us. But our policy is very clear that if we are not at peace at border, we cannot be at peace at geoeconomic terms. Sir, I hope this isn't clear. Yes, sir. Sir, it's a complex interdependence era, and we cannot draw a watertight compartment that we do not import anything from China. Sir, recently we have seen that there is a visa hurdle for Chinese technicians that they are not able to come to India. And sir, our Indian manufacturers are facing the crisis in that thing. So businessmen like Adani Group and various other group are requesting government because sir, they know the tech, know how to how to operate the farms. Yes, sir, uh, right now it's a real threat because they have their own compulsion. China has their own compulsion. So they need trade. They need the trade routes from uh, Aksai Chin because sir, they suffer from the uh, uh, Malakka dilemma uh, in the South Indian Ocean. And sir, we have seen that it is landlocked from the northern part. So sir, they need uh, a side chain to connect to the CPEC corridor of China, uh, Pakistan. So sir, it's a real threat as of now. Yes, sir. Sir, because they have busted their myth of peaceful rise. So now they are showing the world that we are all powerful and they are violating the sovereignty and world is testimony to that fact. And that is why Quad is strengthening and all the world is standing with India right now against the China. Because today if it's India, tomorrow it could be Taiwan and Japan as well. Do you think that uh, China has annexed the on the lines of Crimea? On the lines of? Crimea. That Russia has annexed Crimea. Do you think that China can annex the Taiwan in the uh, sir, in my humble opinion, the future will decide that because China is very aggressive. It could, but sir, China is also observing the Russia-Ukraine war. It's never ending. And we have seen that it has depleted the Russia resources because, sir, in the complex interdependence era, we have seen that Ukraine is supported by many so Western countries. Uh, sir, it's Robert Pihon and Joseph Nye. So Joseph Nye has said that there are, uh, the word, word of Yes, sir. Sir, Joseph and I have given 3D model for the world that in military terms we are unilateral, in economic term we are multilateral, and in the geopolitical term we are confused right now. the insecurity of Russia because uh, we have seen that uh, US is promoting the expansion of NATO in that region and also sir, various uh, theories are there which say that it's a plan of United States as well because the US has defense industry and US have seen that Europe is gaining significance and cooperation with China so US always wanted to maintain its hegemony so US is very fearful that if US Europe is maintaining hegemony with China or trade cooperation with China Europe would grow so, sir, in order to destabilize Europe, so uh, it's a U.S. master plan to expand NATO because U.S. knew that Russia would react to that. Sir, I believe it's that, but it's it's accepted, U.S. is a uh, U.S. is term development versus investment support. Why does it need to expand to the uh, east? Sir, because U.S. promote bait and greed policy when it see peace in the region. Uh, sir, I believe Mish Sharma, the real scholar Mish Sharma. Uh, sorry, Mish Sharma. Sir, in his book, The Tragedy of Great Power Politics, he has given the concept of offshore balancing. And sir, he has also given the uh, concept of promoting preponderance that is hegemony in the region. So what was the previous 
the part in sir sir uh, meer shaibar was a uh, structuralist he was looking at the structure of international relation that is anarchy so post structuralist look at the actor level analysis as well there is concept given by ted dibbing what is that uh, sir i think i have answer i would like to take a moment to think over this Uh, sir hedley would have given a concept of anarchical society sir he wants to say that we cannot make a very cliche statement that there is all anarchy or there is all uh, liberalism that is society sort of thing we have complex of things so in some areas we are cooperating as a society as we see in the society and in some area there is anarchy as well so i think what is that what is what does it mean anarchical society sir what is that what does it mean pardon sir i couldn't hear that what is that God is dead. All right, sir. Sir, uh, this is a statement given by Nietzsche, and he says that now it's a time of postmodernism. So, in modern era, we were promoting a order. That is, we were trying to find principle for everything. That God has given something, so we have to stick to that. For example, Newton's third law. But, sir, as coming of scholars like Karl Popper and various theories, now we see that in postmodern era, various micro narrative also matters. So, it's an incredibility towards meta narrative. so we need to focus on small micro perspective also so that is why we don't need to see the god we also see various other micro religion as well so that is why god is there so what was the narrative in human history uh, movement what was the meta narrative uh, sir in my opinion in the Hindu, indian freedom movement the meta narrative is that it's a indian freedom struggle and sir the micro narrative are for example by honorable dr b r ambedkar it was a dalit freedom struggle and sir by socialist like jp narayan it was socialist uh, revolution in india and sir there are certain other narrative that uh, it's a cultural uh, cultural rejuvenation history of india so i think you have said it then there is huge to and cry regarding the post uh, in school so what's your take on this or what is the reason that uh, recent pushing of the post in this okay what is the reason sir i think there was a flaw in the policy of education so sir we were promoting rote learning and sir when exams like upsc comes so we were pass out from the schools and colleges we were in the habit of rote learning so people don't able to cope up with the material they don't able to cope up with the advanced study material because they are in the habitual of spoon feeding so sir it ushered the era of coaching industry in new delhi so Uh, sir, as a student of PSIR, uh, I think ideology is to lead the masses, and sir, I think I believe in humanism. So, as lo- sir, as long as humans are at the center, we are promoting human rights. That ideology is the best. We cannot promote certain one ideology because the world is very complex. So we cannot take extremes at right now. So we need to take a good mix of every ideology. sir i would like to take a guess sir uh, there is a nilmat puran uh, sir it mentions about uh, yes sir it's a new so there is uh, sir i don't know the name of the person who wrote this so there is raj the rangini kalhana and sir i could recall this much only kashmir is or sir uh, the word kashmir was given after the name of a rishi sir it was given in nilmat puran as uh, kashmir kashmir region it was a valley it was suffering from a uh, violence of a demon so there was a demon and people were so much tortured by him so sir one rishi came and uh, the people complained about the demon to the rishi perhaps and he killed that demon and later on he also uh, supplied water because there was a big stone over there he sidelined that stone and the water emerged in that kashmir so sir uh, it was name or that rishi's name sir uh, uh, it's a purana so these are narrative so we cannot verify those but as 
time has passed people have passed on these stories so for a culture thing we are promoting it to give the legitimacy to the region as a kashmir uh, sir i think it means flow of things yeah it was reverse of reverse of the name 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 of the like i'm confused with the various names yes sir yes sir it's a advait philosophy temple shankaracharya temple the whole of jammu kashmir sir sir uh, the one is chashma shahi in srinagar uh, sir uh, there is also dal lake we have kumbhis and the floating gardens in that sir in the jammu region we have uh, we have bahu fort and sir uh, we have amar palace also in jammu division yes sir so the dogra dynasty was uh, set up by gulab singh later on uh, uh, yes sir maharaja gulab singh and later on maharaja ranveer singh came and then maharaja pratap singh and then maharaja amar singh and then uh, maharaja hari singh yes sir sorry sir i would like to correct this sir amar singh was the brother of pratap singh maharaja pratap singh so uh, his son was made the king uh, sorry sir i don't know the exact reason about that i would brush up on this later on uh yes sir sir as i have mentioned that i have a very good emotional question and i am adaptable to various environment sir uh, one of my weakness is uh, that i try to be perfectionist and i go overboard in that so uh, sir it turn against my favor as well but trying to be perfectionist make me achieve for excellence but somehow it like i go overboard i take lots of time in completion of thing to overcome this i'm setting uh, realistic deadlines to cover my syllabus on time and to uh, convince myself that this is okay i have conquered this and now i can uh, achieve good in that so okay thank you thank you